this year be the focus. That's Man, all I'm gonna say. Boy, I'm gonna say. You can right. tell you can tell me this. That's cool. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you true. That's what I'm saying. That boy, right? <laughs> that boy. But listen, I, I know I'm not alone with that. True. That's all I'm saying. Get get the, get the battle rap. Right. That's what we want. Anyway. All right, y'all. Yo, yeah. man, take it easy, man. We, we, yeah. we, 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 we salute, man. Yo, Cole, it's me and you, man. Listen, this episode man. four of the Bar Guy Show, man, it's only gonna get better. It's only gonna get even crazy. I promise. This is you. one of the ones, Polo. Oh yeah, this is a, this episode right here might be one of the best episodes in a whole yeah, year. Crazy, bro. bro. <laughs> Yo, from the Ben Swayze joint to this oh, to that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this definitely, you got to play this one back. It's my, hey, we, hey, we might have to top him up a couple times. This one is one of the ones, bro. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Salute to everybody. That, yeah, we got, I'm going to try to time stamp everything for everybody. I'm going to start editing. I got to do that. This a classic. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always a classic when I'm on board. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, 17, one man's story seems right when he's the first to speak until his neighbor comes to cross-examine him. The man who first to speak story seems right until his neighbor comes to examine him. Proverbs 18, 17. Okay. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. Man, when Polo went live, not Polo, when Cola went live the other day and he was breaking down what happened, I don't, oh, facts, I don't know, man. <laughs> you might have let a cat out of the bag, bro. <laughs> I think we might have called this one wrong, brother. <laughs> I'm keeping it real. <laughs> I'm keeping it real. After, after, after what Polo just did, Man, my gosh. Cola came with a, a clip. Polo bought out the drums, the, the big drum, 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 like the the, <laughs> the Nick Cannon drum line movie drums. And my gosh. I don't know, Cola. It got you looking crazy. Man, I, man, I had to write a lot of stuff down, man. That, that live was like two hours so long, man. I ain't never listened to Polo that long. <laughs> Polo had a lot of things to say. There's some of the things he said. I, I, I ain't get a dime from that. So you don't want to monetize none of your spaces on the channel. You don't share no clips. You don't share, you don't, you don't, you don't do it. You like like for real. I'm just being honest. You don't book no artists. These are three. You don't share clips. You don't book artists. You don't do graphics. <laughs> but you want the password for what? You want you want you want an ownership for what? That don't make no sense. Where where in the history of business have you ever heard of an employee asking for ownership of the company without like what what what's the reason? Especially this year, nigga. We just got demonetized. Hello, we got demonetized. No. Uh -oh. Yeah, it got bad. He put up screenshots, video clips, and stuff. I don't know how you get around that. Like the things you said, bro. He, it's like he just took it and set it on fire and threw it out of the window. And actually, was like, "This the real truth." He debunked basically everything you said, bro. He literally debunked everything you said and bought up the proofs. You were talking about how he played you for the money. You didn't get the proper cut. He put up the uh, screenshot to that showing the dates and everything that he actually sent you the money told you what happened and went on so it wasn't something he made up because the dates was on there you get what i'm saying um and you was making it seem like it was some big big money it wasn't even no big money it was a hundred dollars unless you think a hundred dollars some big money but he gave you the hundred dollars like <laughs> and told you what was happening you made it seem like he was doing some underhand shifty type stuff and was trying to play you when in reality that I don't know, bro. Listen, man, let's get off into it. <laughs>
So Polo let it be known, look, you was an employee. You were an employee. You worked for us. We hired you to work for us and we paid you accordingly. In fact, we even gave you extra incentives that went beyond what we actually brought you on board to pay you as an employee for. You were just an employee. That's it. Now you want ownership. Now you want the passwords and access to the company. No, we're not going to give you that as an employee. And they had a legitimate argument about it. He spoke about how we went through this before with Rome DMV. Rome DMV them had the access code to the channel. And when we had a fallout, he deleted and erased everything and took all the material, everything, and we were left with nothing. I remember that. Because remember, that's when I got the call from them to help them get their channels back up. Yeah, see, they don't they leave that part out. They don't like to talk about that. But we got the files, don't we, people? So, you know, and remember at this time, like always, but ain't no at this time. I'm the hottest dude in battle rap. So what we do, one united front? What did we do, one united front? See, they like to leave that out. What did we do? We got it back popping and cracking, then we? we don't want the credit, though. We never wanted the credit. But we just have to say the truth when they try to leave out the truth, don't we, y'all? They know it. So what we ended up doing was bringing them back on. And we got everybody else rallied around them, and we helped them get their other channel up. That's, that was the, that's the channel they own now. We helped build that channel up when Rome DMV robbed them and took off with their stuff. So I get why he said, no, nah, we're not giving him the code. That's fair. That's honest and correct. Especially when you see that you were just an employee. Now we see also what, what it meant when Polo said, see, I was against Polo. Like, hold on. You mean to tell me, Tony Broly, you don't get it, man, the percentages to share? But I'm not knowing he just an employee. I thought he was a partner. Now the real truth, I like, no, you are an employee. Of course you don't get Tony Bro extra. That come to us who own the company. You're still an employee. You don't become an owner because Tony Bro leaves. You don't become the owner. You're still an employee. We hire you for services. So, of course, you don't get Tony Bro shares. Fair. That, that's correct then. Then he went off into the thing. And let's not, let, let's not misunderstand. So let's get something else right. We made a choice between you and Drizzy. We let go one of the owners as a result of you. We chose you over Drizzy. Hmm. I think I got to go back and revisit that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go back and revisit that. However, that's what they said. He also let it be known what you not you saying that we were demonetized, but you not saying why we were demonetized. And this is the great shot he put up right here. We were demonetized because of you. You did some things against Mav Hoffa. You, 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 you spoke against him when he was allegedly putting hands on his wife. You spoke against him. He wanted to talk to you to give up warning, fair hand. You didn't even want to talk to the man. You didn't even want to talk to the man. Then, hold on. Then on top of you not wanting to talk to the man, our channels a couple days later was demonetized and striped because you didn't want to make right where you went wrong. This is what Polo's saying. You didn't want to make right where you went wrong. And as a result of not wanting to make right where you went wrong, our channels was striped. And we were demonetized as a result of your actions for over three months. Crazy thing about it is he wanted to talk to you before this happened, but you didn't want to talk. So you called our channel to be demonetized for over three months. Only for later after that, you didn't want to talk to Mav Hoffa, but Mav Hoffa dropped a freestyle and you the first one in the comment putting fire emojis up. But you said you didn't want to talk to him to make things right, but now you're giving him fire emojis on his freestyle? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I'm sorry, brother. I can't be biased in this thing. I tried to a little bit, but I can't. 
truth is the truth no matter what one man's story the first person who speaks story seems right until his neighbor cross-examines him no 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 man get out of here with that trash that's crazy let's look at these text messages so here's Mal saying to uh polo by the way i've been supporting you you we not messy at all your man that's what he said your man got my number he could have reached out beforehand and got some accurate info as well as a warning see see i was gonna give him the accurate information and a warning everybody getting hit getting, getting struck and i'm not the one that's doing it though but I could have warned y'all. So Polo put that up. So we took a hit, hit because of you. And we could have made it right and got the strike removed, but you didn't want to talk to him to get the strike removed. Then he hit him on some other real stuff. How you speaking against the man, talking bad against the man, but you ain't got the guts to talk to the man. <laughs> he was coming with a drum drum. Ooh, he came with a drum for you, Cola. I'm just keeping it 100. He also said... You a hothead who can't be controlled and you messing up the money. You don't take accountability for your actions. He, you heard, you saw the live because you was in there. He wouldn't bring you up. He said, no, I didn't interfere you when you were doing your live. When you were doing your live, I let you say everything you wanted to say. Don't come up wanting to talk now when I'm on fire. So he didn't let you up when you was in the comments. So he wanted, he said, no, you're going to sit there. I got you. He said, I got you on a stove cooking you, and you're going to sit there and you're going to watch it. That's what he said. He goes on a little deeper. He said, you is bad for business. You messing up all the money because you disrespectful and loudmouthed and you just uh, 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 can't be controlled and think you can say anything. You messing up our relationship with business partners and sponsors. He said, you went on one of the spaces disrespecting smack when you know that he have a relationship with them and he's been featured on champion on the champion panel like two years in a row and not on, only that tony bro have been judges and everything and you disrespecting smack who opening up door for us and giving us a bag then y'all had another sponsor that actually hired y'all to take care of some business because of your mouth and disrespectfulness you got into a, one of the battle rappers and then you messed up the bag for that <laughs> the TOS people, whoever they is. He said, as a result of your mouth and your behavior, they started getting calls from battle rappers and other people saying, look, man, you got to start charging y'all for interviews or we ain't giving you, you know, interviews, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we do. So that even happened right there. He said, you wanted the password but they can't give you the password because you're just an employee. You're not an owner. He said you always had these get get rich quick games to the point that they end up messing y'all up too because you always want to find a way to get over financially. Hold on. This year be the focus. That's Man, all I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. You can, right. tell, you can tell me this. That's cool. But I'm telling you. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you true. That's what I'm saying. That boy. Right. That boy. But listen, I, I know I'm not alone with that, True. That's all I'm saying. Get, get, the, get the battle rap. That's what we want. Anyway. All right, y'all. Yo, yeah. Take it easy, man. We, we, yeah. we, we man. Salute, man. Yo, Cole, it's me and you, man. Listen, this episode man. four of the Bar Guy Show, man, it's only going to get better. It's only going to get even crazy. I promise This is you. one of the wars, Polo. Oh, yeah. This, in a, this episode right here might be one of the best episodes. Yeah, he said that. That was one of the reasons. So that was crazy. Um, he began to talk about a little bit more stuff, right? He also spoke about how um uh he spoke about how how he was allowing you to actually get 
uh, money off the merchandise, even though you put nothing in on it. He was allowing you to eat off the merchandise when you didn't pay for none of it to get done. And it costs us a lot of money. And he gave you half of the money off the merchandise that y'all was selling, even though you put nothing in on it. He was just talking about um, <clears throat> calling you crash out cola. Like you calling yourself the big speaker saying a lot of stuff, but yet you damaging and hurting the business because you keep effing up the money. You keep effing up the money. Um, and people don't want to be on show with you no more. They suspended you two times. They said they had suspended you two times already. And just like any other job at an employee, you get two warnings after the third. Now the third warning becomes the termination. So they said this was your termination. After suspending you two times, they finally decided to terminate you. And that it was said behind the scenes, like, look, this is what we're going to do. We ain't going to say nothing about it. We just going to let you, 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 you go your own separate ways. It's water under the bridge. Bygone be bygone. But you had to go do a live talking. So now we got to put the real truth out there about what was going on. And you was under the impression that something was being made that you didn't know what was really being made because you don't see the records. You don't see the books because you just an employee that only get paid for the services we've been paying you. So that makes a lot of sense when you think about it. He said you don't want to take responsibility for your actions and the things you were doing that you always basically make up excuses to justify your actions and the things you do and won't be man enough to accept what you do. And he said, ever since you got the channel demonetized and didn't want to take accountability for your actions and didn't want to make that thing right and you cost us money, he didn't really want to mess with you no more after that. He was done messing with you from that point on. And many times he went to bat, he went to bat for you when they were trying to get rid of you anyway. And he the one that went to bat for you. So although you making it seem like Tony bro was the one that was actually going to bat for you, he said in actuality, it was actually him because even Tony bro was one of the ones that was trying to get rid of you. That's what he really put out there. So I don't know, man. It, it just sounded differently. It just hit a little bit harder when Polo got to speaking because he kept putting up all the screenshots and how he actually broke things down. That makes a lot of sense. If you And you admitted that you was an employee. So if you came on as an employee, why would they give you access to the passwords to be control of the channel in case of situations like this when you could get in your feeling and just erase the whole business like they once did and happened with Rome DMV? And we was witnesses to that. That did happen. I don't know, man. It, it, it just hit a little different this time, Cola. I'm just keeping it real. It hit a, it hit a little different this time. And the things he was saying, it seemed like it was on point, bro. I don't know how you you going to rebuttal and come back off this. But regardless to what, man, look, what's done is done. It is what it is. You said your side. He said his side. Only thing you can do is be like what Jay-Z said to Damon Dash. If you believe you made them, okay, and you got the higher views, make another one. Bussin' no streets for you, leave me waiting on you. Bussin' no streets for you.